It's a pretty wet, dark, miserable day where I am at the moment, and it's kind of fitting that on such a day, uh, news came out, at least it was la late yesterday, uh, that Julian Savia is leaving New Zealand rugby to go to Toulon. Um, he's been on the outer of the All Blacks for a while now, uh, and it was largely predicted that he would be going, and I guess now we've just got the confirmation. So... I mean, to take a quick look at this guy's career, it's been a, it's been a pretty impressive one. Uh, 54 tests, including 46 tries, which makes him ninth overall in terms of uh, top try scorers. Uh, he's got a better strike rate than pretty much everyone above him, except for Daisuke Ohata, who's the number one overall uh, try scorer. You know, he, he's got better strike rate than guys like Habana, Shane Williams, and Doug Howlett, who are all very big names in the game. So... Uh, Clearly, Savia was um, a big threat when he was in that All Blacks jersey. Uh, he's been one of the premier wingers in world rugby for a very long time. Um, but a quick look over some of his stats from this year kind of back up uh, the reasons why the All Blacks are perhaps not selecting him and would suggest that uh, even though he's not, he's not even 30, but he's still had a slight kind of decline from that top elite level to just, you know, pretty good. So, I mean, I don't want to be negative because i got much respect for this guy. Uh, I mean, you just have to look back at that game against France in the 2015 World Cup where he was just, he scored a hat-trick and he was just bumping off guys for fun. Uh, you know, on his day, best winger in the world. But from 2015, is is kind of... Uh, where he seemed to peak and it's not been quite at that level since. Uh, looking at this season for 2018, uh, in terms of tries, which is the big one if you're a winger, I mean, Ben Lamb, his teammate on the left wing, has got 14. He's got one. Buffelli and Navarro got 10 and 11. Julian Savio's got one try. And we're kind of in the, the last quarter of the season. It's not really fitting a guy that we know can do a lot more. Uh, tackle busts, one of the main things he's known for. He's nowhere near the top of this chart. I mean, Michael Lutta, Samu, Little Samu Karevi, his teammate Ngani Laomapi, all average almost five tackle busts a game. Julian Savi is on 2.4. All these guys play in the midfield, um, so it's probably a little bit unfair. I didn't. I filtered it by only backs players, no forwards, so there's no like Akira Ioane on here. Um, but if I filtered it by wingers, he's still below guys like um, Naya Ravoro, Rico Ioane, uh, Lemeki from the Sunwolves, Salmaki from the Sunwolves, Dalgunu from the Reds, Naholo, Tavita Lee. I think he's 51st overall in terms of average tackle busts per game. So not where we know he can perform. Good, but not at elite level. Uh, run meters. Nairo Voro, Alamalo, Samaki all average 100 meters a game. Savia is a respectable 60. But again, that puts him 50th in Super Rugby for 2018. Not where we know he can perform uh, in the past. Other areas I've not got on the board, line breaks. He, you know, the top guys average one and a half line break per game. Savia is at about 0.6, so half a line well, half a line break, but uh, a line break every other game. Uh, he does average slightly fewer minutes than a lot of other players. He's at around 62, so he's getting subbed a bit more, a bit earlier. But um, still, 60, 60 plus minutes is is, um, is a fair bit of time. And he gets just as many runs as, uh, as Lamb on the other wing. So I know often... People talk about one wing getting more ball than the other. Lamb averages 6.8 runs a game, Savia 6.5. So pretty similar amount of ball. So yeah, I mean, looking at these numbers, you would have to say that now is probably the right time for Savia to go. He's on the outer with the All Blacks. His career has dipped. His form has dipped. Uh, a change of scenery is probably going to do him good. He might light things up in France, which would be great for him. Uh, earn a bit of money, which is always nice, and um, yeah, just just see how he goes in France. Um, if if you look back at his career in ten years, he's definitely going to be regarded as one of the great All Black wingers, one of the great wingers of world rugby. 
Um, but like a lot of other guys, once they hit that well, post mid twenties period, um, I think Lomu was similar, uh, just not quite able to, to maintain that same level of form. So, yep, big player, big name to be going on, but, uh, as is like to do with New Zealand rugby, uh, there'll be someone else coming through at some point soon. Uh, he's been playing since 2012, so... Uh, he's been around for a long time, so it's sad to see him go. But uh, like I said, uh, maybe it is for the best. What do you guys think of the move? you think it's about the right time as well? Or do you think he could have hung around to, to shoot for another all-black spot? I mean, he's been behind Naholo and Milner Scudder and others for a while now. Especially Rico Ioani has also, um, you know, kind of pushed him down the pecking order. But um, yeah, what do you guys think? And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you again soon. All right, guys. See you later.